Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day. Safe day. It's a TGIF. Let's make it a great one, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials flat, NASDAQ down five, S&P's off five, gold contract down $77 at 1,487. Silver down $1.63 at $26.06. Platinum down 42 at $1,490. Copper down nine and a half pennies at $3.35 a pound. Light sweet crude off $2.53 at $90.97 a barrel. Bonds up a point in nine ticks, trading out at $147.16. King dollar flat at $92.28. Now, at $82.28. Check this out, folks. This is intense. You just heard me go through the commodities. The commodities got lit up today like beyond belief, meaning downtown, smoked. King dollar, folks, came in, light of volume, and rejected the low. This is going to be, this is not over yet for commodities, and it's a bad scene, because king dollar wants to go to 89. You had to move like that in the commodities, and king dollar didn't go anywhere. Euro, 131.02, yen, 98.73. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're down five bucks. Might as well be a flat market. If we put this on a weekly, what you're going to see is that you got over the high of last week. You're at the 1587. That means 1580. That means 15. Let's see, 93 can get tested again. The high can get tested again. Dow Industrial, same setup in the Dow. They almost got the Dow green. Uh, they, they just missed it. They missed it by eight tenths of 1%, folks. Um, the Dow is at uh, 14,865. NASDAQ composite. We go take a look at the composite. What we have with the composite is this. She was down five bucks. That's really a flat market, too, though. Um, that's on the daily. On the weekly basis, you did close over the, the high of last week, which was the uh, 32.70. So it's saying, hey, that, that also can turn around and go for that high again. And the high that we're talking about there is the 3,300. Now, we go over to the, the three Qs. If you take a look at the three Qs, what we have with the three Qs is that the three Qs still can't handle it. Uh, the high in the three Qs, folks, you know, is 70.58. Uh, we got into the price point today of 70.17. And the correlation coming into that, we did with 173 million shares. You were going into 181 million shares. You're going into 216,000 shares. 216 million, rather. That's at the highs. At the lows, what you have is this. At the lows, you basically have some monster volume. So the, the Qs are basically saying, once again, they want to go downtown. We go to the small caps. We take a look at the IWM. What you have with the IWM, that was a flat market out there in the IWM. You're at $93.64. Um, we take a look at that, and you just put this on a weekly basis. And what you're going to see in the IWM also, IWM can't handle it. Uh, what you have with the IWM is this. We came off the high last week, $94.47. You came down with 257 million shares. Trying to make it back up there this week with 189 million shares. That's saying it's coming back downtown. Okay. Now... Let's go to the gold market. This is going to be, uh, I was on CNBC this afternoon, folks. If you want to see the interview, just go into breaking news at TFNN, and you'll see the uh, interview right there. Okay, so the gold contract did 346,000 contracts today. That, that's one of the largest it's ever done. What you want to wrap your head around here, folks, is if you want to understand, you know, I talk about building cars a lot, Okay. Gold had built cars for the lower price, and they, it would build cars from February 20th, coming all the way over to basically last week. Takes that out, and takes it out with a vengeance. Now, what I talked about on CNBC, and, and you know, uh, as all you tigers and tigresses are out there growling and prowling with us, and we do appreciate you listening, uh, this is about a liquidation event. It's about the ETF structures. It's about a flush out. It's about... Paulson, 
It's about all of those things. It's about the King Gala wanting to go higher. So just check this out. A move, uh, in, in percentage-wise, just so you can understand percentage-wise what it is. Percentage-wise, silver went down 5.78%. Gold went down 4.9%. Copper, 2.8%. Crude, 2.6%. Stay at gold and silver for a second, okay? We're talking 58 and 4.89%. Well, Paulson still owns 21 million shares of the GLD. You talk about a bad day, man. That's This is just terrible, okay? Okay. Um, that loss there, just in one day, is $147 million. If you look at his portfolio, I figure his portfolio today took a hit, and the hit that it took is probably around, probably about $300 million in one day, okay? So the real key there is going to be, um, is he hedged, number one, which we don't know? Will he have to sell, which we don't know? And or did he sell, Okay. That's one correlation. My take uh, is that this, what, what a flush out specifically does is this. We'll go over to the gold contract again so you can take a look at how this is set up. This isn't over, folks, because what this did out here today, got the 1487, a one-to-one -one ABC structure down, which we've been talking about, was 1463, okay? You know, we got the 1480. Now, you got to remember something. If you have the art of time in the trade, my book, you have a 1 to 1 ABC down or up. You have a 1 to 0.382, 1 to 50, and a 1 to 1.618. Now, what happens inside that structure is that if you do a 1 to 1.618, that's an immediate change of trend in the marketplace. Okay. What gold always likes to do is over a 1 to 1. On the way up, it always did over a 1 to 1. Okay. So, in the context of markdown, there's no reason not to think that gold won't do a 1 to 1.50 or a 1 to 1.618 in the way down. Why? Because it always liked doing between a 1.382 and a 1.50 on the way up. And when it did top out, it did a 1 to 1.618 on the way up. That's what it did. So, we're at 1487. What does that mean? Well, miners getting gold out of the ground, the, the, it cost them 1150 bucks, give or take 50 bucks. So it's like, okay, that has, that, well, you can go below that floor, but that's, let's say that's the floor. At 1487, you're really dealing with an aspect that this contract can absolutely make its way down, um, you know, next stop to me is you know, you get thirteen fifty on the agenda, uh, but I'll tell you something. There's going to have to be an, there's going to have to be an event, even to stop it at that level. And this is why, because the break that is out here today is extreme. It took a long time for that break to occur because you can I could actually make the argument that you know we've been in this consolidation since uh, July of 2011. It blew it apart. Uh, one way that you can do a calculation on this is that you take the bottom of it and take the top of it and say, okay, you just add it up. So uh, the bottom line is do not step in the middle of this, folks. Do not even think about a counter trend bounce in the middle of it because um, bottom line is that it's in trouble big time. Now, let's go over to the silver market. We take a look at silver. What you have with silver and, and well, and, 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 okay, I got to stay with gold for a second just so you can understand this because... You know, I, I was saying on CNBC this this morning, this afternoon, that there's going to be a book written about it, and I just might start writing it. And 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 what it's going, what it's about specifically, it gave me a small book, but it's, what it's about, it's about the how small the gold market is, and how the inf ETF structure helps it dramatically on the way up, but absolutely destroys it on the way down. And that, that's what's going on here too, folks. So picture this tonight. What you have going on tonight is this right now. As of last night, you had the GLD owned about 1,183 ton, okay, of gold, which is the sixth largest in the world. Last, they'll, they'll have this up, it's beyond this site in uh, another 45 minutes. Another 45 minutes, we'll know how much more they have to sell. Well, and that, that's still one day late, okay? So, what's gonna happen is that they have to sell physical gold tonight. As they sell physical gold, 
to a bullion bank, they have to push it out into the marketplace. What does that do? Puts more pressure on the downward pie. To sell today is going to be extraordinary. There's no two ways about it. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're bringing uh, back a uh, technology expert at TFNN. I'm in, Mr. David White. We're going to be right back.